Nathan, I think you're right. The Traverse is uh, much more feminine. Mommy will be like you said. Off-road wise, I would say it's about the same as the Durango. You know, they both have approximately the same amount of ground clearance. This has no button to push. Nope, nothing. Right, so it's mainly front wheel drive. And if the front wheel started to lose traction, then all of a sudden it sends power to the back. You do have a button for uh, towing. That's nice. And you have a traction control button, which I don't think is going to help us right now. No, that's not going <laughs> to help us right now. Hey, but I will say this. This thing is quiet, and I think it's a little bit... I don't know, a little smoother inside than the uh, Dodge was. This is front wheel drive biased. The Dodge is rear wheel drive biased. I think that they have a different engine note and I think that this particular one has a little bit softer suspension. Yeah, it does feel a bit softer. And actually off-road, the softer suspension does better because it's more compliant and it seems to be soaking up these bumps a little bit better. And there's a handy dandy switch over there for making the mirrors automatically come in. That does help. Yeah. And the other thing I like about this, of course, it's been redesigned for 2013. Mm -hmm. um, and they did up the quality of the materials, a lot more softer touch, uh, a lot more elegant. It doesn't feel uh, quite as, uh, well, oh, wonky. Wonky is wonky. a good word. Yeah. It doesn't feel quite as wonky. It feels a little bit more upmarket. Yeah, but bottom line, I like the uh, Durango a little bit better. Yeah, uh, Roman, когда мы приедем? Когда? Andre, we'll get it dirty, I promise. This would not be TFL car if we didn't get some mud on these vehicles, but, you know, I don't want to bottom this thing out. There's not a lot of... Uh, ground clearance, the approach angles suck, and let's face it, most people will not be taking it off-road like this in the Colorado mountains. Yeah, that's true, but you know, once again, guys, the reason we do this, aside from the fact that it's really fun, is because if it does well here, it's gonna do really well in the snow or on a dirt road. Yeah, it's real-world testing, and it's, oh, we just hit something there. <laughs> it's serious off-roading out here. Yeah, the higher we go, the harder it gets. With crossovers, we only go up to this area we like to call the mud pit because, well, frankly, it's a mud pit. And also because once you go past that, you just can't do it in a regular crossover. No, these dirt bikers can do it, of course. Yes, of course they can. Yeah, but not, not, not us. Yeah, so, you know, I'm impressed. I mean, if this had more ground clearance, I would say it would be quite off-road capable. And of course, the other problem that both these vehicles have is that they have tires that aren't meant for this, right? Yeah, they're they're street for the, tires. They're street tires, yeah. Well, as Roman said it in the past, there really are a few things that you need. You need ground clearance, you need good tires, and it would be nice if you had a locking center differential or something along those lines. But for what these things can do, so far, we're impressed. Hey, Andre, do you see? My. Oh, yeah, these are... Hey, yes, yes. There we go. Oh, it's, it's good, da? Yeah, oh, all right. Sure. See, everybody's yeah. happy. Obviously, Nathan, with all these dirt bikes and Jeeps out here, you know, we're into some pretty heavy Colorado off-road. I think these cars are at their limit. Yeah, we took them as high as they should go. And frankly speaking, we pushed them more than normal people would. Ah, ребят, это было легко. В Подмосковье очень труднее. Okay, I know, I know. Where you know I think in Moscow, the streets are like this all the time. Yeah, yeah. Well, don't they have horses that pull carriages? Come on. Now, the bottom line is, and he's right, this isn't super off-road. This is just off-road to the point that it's testing these vehicles. And you know what? They did okay. No, no, no. The bottom line is 19 miles to the gallon here. Oh, God, so come on. got awful number over there. Yeah, 15 here. But you know what? I can tell you what's going to make all the difference in the world. And it's coming up tomorrow. Zero to 60, baby. You want to take these zero to 60? Oh, hell yeah. All right. Zero to 60. <laughs> coming up on the fast lane car. <laughs> Stay tuned. As always, this is Roman. And Nathan. Yeah, Andre. Saying so long and thanks for watching.